Uh, today we've got a Mini, um, it's got the fairly infamous intake cam sensor fault. So you're probably aware already that you've got a, an intake and exhaust cam sensor on these. Easy to remove. Um, sometimes it's a problem with the timing chain stretchy and other times it's a problem with the sensor. There's a quick way that I'm going to show you to test the sensor. It's a fairly generic way to test all sensors really. You're not concerned overly with the readings that you're getting from the sensor. All you're concerned with is that you're getting a different reading, which gives you an idea that there's something wrong. So here we've got the brand new sensor and the old sensor. All we're going to do is take our multimeter, which I've got set to um, 200K, just to make sure on ohms, just to make sure that we get some sort of a usable measurement. And on our new, sensor i'm just going to go across all the pins hopefully you can see that there so on a new sensor i'm going to go across all the pins i'm going to go one to three one to two two to three two to one and we got no reading so when we get our new, our old sensor, sorry, and we go across one and three, nothing, two to three, okay, looks like that's shorted, two to one, looks like that's shorted. So, main point is that we've got a clear difference uh, on two of those pins on the old sensor. Gives us a good idea there's something wrong with it and removes some of the guesswork. Uh, so the good news is that this test will work with pretty much any sensor. This is a three pin sensor. Um, you don't have to be too concerned what the readings are. More interested that you've uh, got a reading. So all the best.